Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to show you how to descale. So your descale light may come on, or you may just, you're supposed to descale these about every three months. And I'm gonna show you how to, to do it with using the Keurig solution. Now if you look at the directions, they really don't tell you how to do it in the directions. This is for the K Cafe espresso machine with this frother. So the frother you're gonna clean, this is just normal dishwasher safe and that little black thing comes out and you can wash it by hand. But I'm not really gonna go over, this is standard cleaning here. What I'm mainly gonna go over is on this side, the water reservoir side. It's got that heating reservoir inside and that's what we're gonna use the descaling for, is to clean up that heating element that hard water deposits might be getting on it. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we don't have a K-pot in here. Then you're gonna to wanna to make sure you got some handy um, like measuring cups or something because you're gonna be dumping out a bunch of uh, liquid and these are just really handy to keep to keep the process going and you're able to dump it out a bunch. So this Keurig solution, I was looking all over and I really couldn't find the directions on how to use this. But if you see, there's this little thing here, it says peel here. And when you peel that back, it reveals the directions on how to use this. So the first thing we're gonna do, so reading the directions, it's fairly simple. We're gonna make sure we empty the reservoir. We're gonna pour the entire contents of this bottle into the reservoir. And then we're going to run a bunch of, of the larger setting coffees with no K-cup in there to get that, that solution to go through the heating element. So I'm gonna, we're gonna do that right now. So the solution doesn't have a smell to it. I'm, not even sure what to do. I got it all in. I'm going to put the cover back on. Again, make sure we don't have anything on. We're going to turn it on. Put our cups underneath there. So since this has been off, we're going to have to... So we may have to add a little bit of water. So that container was not enough for this add water to go out. So you can add some more solution, but I'm just gonna add a little bit more water. Okay, so I added just a little bit more water, and now the add water light's not running. Now what it wants us to do is a coffee. We gotta lift the handle to activate it. Then these are flashing, so coffee, 12 ounce. So what that's doing, that's gonna run that solution through the machine right now. Okay, so we only had to do one 12 ounce coffee and our add water light is on. So now it says you leave that solution in there, even though there's just a little bit left in there. And we're gonna leave this, this whole coffee maker on for 30 minutes. So leave the power button on, don't. It'll shut off after two hours. But for 30 minutes, we're gonna time it. And what that's gonna do is, so you've got that solution now is inside, there's a reservoir inside here and it's soaking that heating element. And every once in a while that heating element's gonna kick on to uh, heat up that water. And that's gonna help descale this. So after 30 minutes, we're gonna rinse this out, put, fr put fill it up with fresh water, and then we're gonna run this whole fresh water through here to help clean out the taste. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. I'm gonna go dump, this is that cleaning solution that's left in there, I'm gonna go dump it out. Okay, so I rinsed this out with soap and water and I filled it up just with fresh water and so I'm gonna make sure I don't have a cake up in here. I wanna leave this nice and clean. And I'm gonna close the handle. I'm gonna come over here and hit the coffee button. I wanna do the largest setting. I'm gonna do the 12 ounce. So I'm gonna to have to do a bunch of these. And what it, I'm gonna run that whole reservoir of, of water through this coffee machine. Now, they say it only takes one reservoir. You may have to go about a reservoir and a half to make sure there's no taste left. I've done it by just doing about one reservoir and it, it, and it tastes okay. Okay, so now I'm going to dump this out. I'm going to put a fresh one down here. To activate this, I've got to lift this up. Even though I'm not putting a K-cup in, i got to lift this up to activate it each time. So then I'm going to hit the coffee, 12 ounce, and then I'm going to brew it. And I'm going to keep doing that until that's completely empty. So this was how to descale the Keurig K-Cafe with the Keurig solution.
That's their descaling solution. And they, they recommend doing that every three months. I'm also going to do another video. I'm going to show you how to descale this with just white vinegar. It takes a little longer, but you are allowed to do it with white vinegar. And I'm going to show you how to do that. If you could, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.